everyone and welcome to our vlog we're just heading to where are we going we're going to walmart no costco costco because we have to get that other stuff remember oh yeah we're heading to costco because we're doing some stockpiling meal planning so we have meals there because the day will come when i'm having my surgery actually the surgeon is away so that's why it's been taking so long but he'll be back uh, next week so I shouldn't be it shouldn't be much further after that so we thought why not use this weekend to make up some meal I don't know if you guys have this in your city when it snows a lot but we have graders that come too bad we didn't get a video of that <laughs> yeah you want to go back yeah. oh you missed him yeah there's another one there's coming. one up here this little uh can you guys see that little tiny tractor there and he cleans the driveway out. Oh yeah, he scoops the snow out of your driveway. But the big graders gets down to the gets the, right down to, to see the how concrete. this road is like concrete. Well our crescent isn't like that right now. It's snowy bumpy. It's like really bumpy and it's actually melted a lot. Okay, this guy. What's he going? Oh no. Okay, watch. <laughs> Now this guy, well he looks like he's just delivering yeah, he something. Yeah, hopefully. Now you can see how it's been kind of good. See the snow piled up there? Now the grate. Oh, here, here comes the grater. Oh, here he comes. Okay. Here comes the grater. Okay, let me see if I can hold it. See that big grater? That big guy? Yeah. And see how he's grating all of that snow? Yeah. So if someone's car... Okay, I'm just going to back up. If someone leaves their car on the road, because you're warned, you get a, a notice. If someone leaves their car on the road, all of that snow there, see that, blocks your driveway. And your SOL, as they say, out of luck. Because it, usually it's way more than that. And he goes right down to the pavements. So today we were trying to do the car relay dance because our driveway is only, not a double driveway, but what do you call it? It's a single driveway, but a double garage, but a small double garage. So we have to car park our cars one in front of the other, as opposed to beside each other. So we were madly doing the relay dance because Richard was worried we were going to be buried under the grater. But we did it. So now we're off to Costco again. See, we came all the way back to show you guys that. Don't you appreciate it? Don't you appreciate the education that you get in our vlogs? <laughs> I was just talking to Deanne. I'm just, the school reminds me of it. I was telling her that when I worked for the schools, um, she was saying that Turner has today off and it's a, a PD day, what they call professional development days for the teacher. Hashtag holiday. There's not any way, um, Turner doesn't have school today because it's a professional development day. When I used to work at the schools, I used to literally, after Christmas, go through the calendar and circle all the days that we would have off in, because it's so hard after Christmas, you go back, it's like, oh, and it was like the only thing that kind of got me through. See, there's a little bobcat right there. Anyway, so she was, I said, well, wait till February. He has way more days off. She goes, uh, no, I don't think so. I think he just has family day. And I said, nope, he's going to have way more. So she looked on the calendar. He has the 6th and 7th, which is Thursday, Friday. Then that gives you Saturday, Sunday, so four-day weekend. He has a Monday off in February, another Monday. February is a very short month anyway. So I think he has... Four or five days in February. Four or five days off in February. Then March is spring break, which is at the very end of March. And then if it's timed right and Easter's right, this is what I how I used to look at it from a holiday perspective. If Easter doesn't fall during spring break, it's like bingo man, bingo. And it doesn't this year, so they have all the spring break off, and then you have Good Friday. Saturday, Easter Sunday, and Holy Monday if you're a Catholic school, four days off. It's like holy Eureka. <laughs> well, it's a holy sacred day. It's a holiday. So yeah, so she was counting all the holidays just laughing. 
that's so random, but whatever. They're just sharing. The weather's been fantastic. I mean, we've had a few days of cold weather, and now look at this. It's almost like spring weather. It, it like, feels like spring temperatures, definitely. It's like yeah, it's really the pluses, like plus seven, plus, which on your end of town is like about... Cold. Well, no, it's 40 above. For, for, them. for them, it'd be winter or cold. Well, not really. It depends where you live. Well, if you live in California, and you got That would the, be cold. <laughs> it'd be cold. But it's 40-ish above. For us, is ridiculous. It's yes. January. It should be 40 below zero, not 40 above zero. But that's okay. We're taking it. Yeah. It's really... My sister is so funny. She says to me last weekend, winter's over. I think the bulk of it's over. I go, it's not over. It's not over. Slap yourself <laughs> awake. It's not over. We will get another cold crunch. No, we won't. I think... I think it's over. I think it's done. I'm like, mm, I hate to burst your bubble, honey, but it isn't done. There's no way. When winter is like this, March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lion. And sometimes April comes in like a lion too. So, you know. We're slipping on the stairs, me included. But Ozzy in the last month has fallen twice and like landed pretty hard on his butt. On our craft sale, somebody fell. We've, it's just our stairs are too slippery and it's we've got to fix this and thank God none of the pregnant mummies have fallen I don't I don't know why but thank God they haven't on our stairs going down to our meetings and stuff so this is what is perma stick so is this it is this the stick this is it mm -hmm. so you for steps ladders entryways actually you know what you know our stairs? Oh, in the front. front yeah. Oh, perfect. look, look, there's snow. Yeah, yeah, so perfect we for that. We could use this. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Is this expensive? It's five something a roll. That's not bad. Yeah, it's, this could keep all this came $28. How many did you buy? Five rolls. I wasn't sure how many I need. I, I can take it back, but now that you're thinking about it, yeah, I might stairs. use that for the stairs and take off that rug. Yes, especially that bottom stair. Yeah. 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 So, oh, so it's called perma stick. It must be important. Available. Wax wax floors should be stripped before cleaning, and this is all this kind of stuff. You know, prepare your floor so it can't be wet. So obviously, I can't do the outside until I remove all of the to dry, dry off it off the thoroughly. Yeah. Clean surface thoroughly. Hmm. The surface must be smooth, dry, and above ten Celsius. So I can't even do it now. Oh, right, it's not even 10. <laughs> so this is the kit. But it'll be good for later. Yeah, yeah, and for later. Yeah. You can do here. Yeah. So, so yeah, we don't want to be sued having anybody fall on their booty. Well, that one woman, it's amazing, when she went down the stairs with her tray, she had her tray oh, in her Oh, she had her hat. basket. And boom, 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 boom. I heard this smack, smack all the way down the stairs on her butt, and she landed, and she never dropped a thing. It was at our our craft sale. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny, but not funny. But she wasn't losing one item out of that treasure box of her treasures. Oh, that's nothing. Do you guys get lots of those 800 numbers? Like, Richard seems to get an awful well, lot. You know what it is? Is my phone number is somebody else because I, I actually answered and the guy says, is this Miel Galel or something or some some name, foreign name? And I said, no. Well, maybe it was a wrong number. No, but he says, and I told him the number. He says, oh, well, this is the number I thought it was. Speaking of random numbers, my phone number, the prefix to my number, is one number off. The only difference between my number and the Capital Health number for um, tech services for all of Capital Health in Alberta is one digit off my phone number. So guess how many phone calls I get that are wrong. And now I've got this pat answer. I'm sorry, you've misdialed. You dialed a seven instead of a nine. You know what I mean? Like it's ridiculous. I get doctors, they, and they're so funny because some of them are kind of arrogant. They go, yes, uh, Dr. Smith here. And I'm like, well, hi, Dr. Smith, it's Monica here. Well, um, oh, well, I seem to be having trouble setting up my IT something or other. And I'm like, well, I can't help you with that, sir. But if you 
have any issues with delivering babies, I'm the one to call. And then they, it's just so funny. Because the more arrogant they are, the more I play around with them. Just because. Because I get so many calls. It's got so bad, though, that I called the um, Capital Health and told them. And they sent out a memo to everybody to be very careful when they're dialing to make sure that they're dialing the right number because it's just one digit off and between seven and nine so they're very close and um, yeah good thing I'm a nice person and I don't get well, all freaked you, you, about you, it you probably get more business do a business no but it's everybody in in like everybody, like internists. Um, yeah, no, no, but I'm saying doctors you're offices. You're in the medical field, so this is uh, good advertising. Just say Monica Dula, and there, there you go. So we're heading to another grocery store because Costco, everything is in bulk, and when it's just the two of us, like we're not going to buy bulk cheese because it won't last, or bulk. What else? Um, it's just some things, you know, the fresh things like fresh food and fresh produce and stuff like that. We won't be buying bulk because no. it doesn't make sense. We hey, look be, at that place. Yeah, I mean, there's Metamucil. Look at that. You and your Metamucil. Look at My that. Fitness, I know. 24 hours that's day. new. Yeah, I know. Huh. That's that I was up there a long time ago. I said, what kind of fitness place is that going to be? It's gonna take 24 a hours a day. Yeah. Wow. It's going to take away from the uh, service center. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe not. Probably more expensive. Anyway, um, Richard's biggest purchase today was what? You just said it. Metamucil. Because it lowers cholesterol. So you just take a little bit of Metamucil every day. Has anybody heard that? Like, I think it's uh, psyllium. There's something, psyllium something. They're called psyllium. I can't think of the word. I know psyllium is one of the word. But anyway, if, if the your cholesterol is sort of high-ish, if you take a teaspoon of that in a glass of water or juice in the morning, it lowers your cholesterol, gets rid of the bad cholesterol. So, good to know, hey? That's Richard's tip today. Mr. Metamucil. From my doctor. It's his tip from his doctor. So, he's been telling everybody. Yes, you have. Just you. Yeah, right. Every time you're on the phone, every time I walk by, I hear the word Metamucil. That would be Anne and I. <laughs> my daughter. My sweetie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just finished making some meals. This one's still a little warm. You can see the steam coming up. This is turkey chili. I made it with ground, ground turkey meat, uh, chickpeas, and black beans. And of course the usual chili stuff. So that was nummy, so that's going in the freezer. And this is chicken parmigiana with spaghetti. So what I did was I um, first browned some boneless chicken thighs in um, some panko breadcrumbs with parmesan cheese. So I browned those and then I cooked the spaghetti, put all the tomatoes, almost all the tomato sauce, maybe two thirds of it, into the pasta, placed it in here, then laid, uh, oh, put a half a cup of mozzarella cheese on top, then laid the um, parmesan breadcrumb thighs on top, poured the remaining tomato uh, pasta sauce on top, and then some more mozzarella cheese, and then sprinkled parmesan cheese on it. It looks and smells delicious. So that's chicken parmigiana with spaghetti. And then I also have in the freezer a shepherd's pie and two really hearty soups. One's a lentil soup and the other one's a taco soup. So that's one, two, three, four, five meals already ready. And as you can see, these are big meals. This is going to last more than one meal. So yeah, I'm getting it stocked up so that'll be one less thing to worry about and it also gives me something to do with my nervous energy cook ahead meals you know so I'm just gonna go upstairs and get all settled and I'm knitting Richard some socks he just stepped out for a second so I'm gonna get started on these brown wool socks he wants to start walking um, 
you know, just for exercise. And uh, he doesn't have any... I knit him socks, but he's worn through them. And I've darned them and darned them, but he needs a new pair. So his birthday's next week. So hopefully I can get these finished by his birthday. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do and watch a movie. So it's Saturday morning. Had a nice surprise visit from our oldest son. Kurt, say hi. Hello. He does exist. <coughs> See how handsome he is? He is um, playing some of his samples, right? Yeah, is that what they're this called? Is, this is his sample. Is that the one for my YouTube? No. No. Kurt's kind of shy. So my camera's... You, you know, like, yeah, well, he's camera shy. And there's Dad, proud Papa. Look at him. Hi, folks. My son's introducing me to some of the things that he does, and the uh, music, and uh, it's really, really interesting. Okay, listen to this one, because he did this himself. It's called Cry? This one, yeah. Good. That's what he does for a hobby, sampling tunes. Making and, tunes. Making oh, tunes. making tunes. Not that, what's the difference? No, it's little samples. No, he this makes the samples, correct? No, I make the music. <laughs> <laughs> and then how does it become that? A sample? Because I play it. What? I play it on my keyboard at home. And then you record it. And, and then it's a sample. Correct? Wow. You shouldn't use the word sample because it's actually... Well, the sample is a little bit of it. Isn't it a sample? Just forget about the sample. A sample, sample of your music. Just forget about the sample monitor. It's new. Okay. I made this one too. Okay. Okay, Curtis composed this one. He's a composer, not a sampler. But I, but I sampled a song to make <laughs> Oh, I get it. You take another song and sample parts of it into your composition. Yeah, the first one was not sampled. This one is. Yes. Okay, I got it. Yeah. You never know he was a brainiac, would you? He's also the brains of our family. Why are you shaking your head, Curtis? So I'm just taking some slow roasted barbecued ribs out of the oven and putting them in a roasting pan to freeze. And Deanne's kids are here. They're downstairs with uh, Gigi. But they sampled some of them and they said they were, they love meat. Deanne's kids love meat. <laughs> They're so funny. They're such carnivores. But anyway, they said they were perfect Nana. They said... Here's a true test that if they're good or not, can I suck on the bone? And I'm like, okay. So I'm just going to pour some of this sauce on top. Don't those look delicious? So today I made Bengal chicken, a pan of these ribs, and in the oven I have, um, sorry, in the oven I have sweet and sour ribs. That will also go into the uh, freezer. So I have to let these cool off. The Bengal chicken is on the table. So, so far I have made, let's see, I made a little list here. And then I'll make some kind of a menu planner. So I've got two soups, lentil and uh, taco soup. I have got turkey chili, like I said yesterday. I've got a shepherd's pie, barbecued ribs, sweet and sour ribs, Bengal chicken, and I also forgot to write down here chicken parmigiana. So I think that's enough meals. Because these are, that's more than enough for Richard and I for two meals. So yeah, feeling really good about that. Everyone's like, really? Do you got to cook everything you own? But you know, it's better to be prepared. And even if you, able to cook why not have some meals in your freezer you know it doesn't mean you have to do this just because you're having surgery you do this because you have a little bit of free time right so it's about 8 30 p.m i have some people cuddling with me one of them is right there and the other one is right here He's sleeping. He picked the movie, but he always falls asleep when it's movie time. So 
So what are we watching, Terms? What's it called again? The shower. Uh, he oh God, did it, or he thought he could do it? Turner. I'm thinking. Something like that, right? Um, I know. No, I think I know. I think I know. So we're watching this movie. I think it's he thought he could when do it. When are we done? Oh, when are we done? That's right. Good remembering, Turner. That's really good. So when are we done? Is it a good movie, Turner? Yeah, it is. So good night, everyone. Can I get some more lemon loaf? No, you're not having any. <laughs> How much lemon loaf did you eat today, Turner? <laughs> Only one pack. One loaf? <laughs> Do you like lemon loaf? Yep. So it's another Sunday in the art cabin, and Turner is creating an original for his parents. It's really cool looking, Turns. Hello there, folks. Can you tell me what you're painting? I have no idea. Just whatever the music makes you paint? You like this music? <laughs> you do, don't you? Oh, it's the Manhattan Transfer, I think. That's a good thing. And they sing all old tunes. And Percy's out here. Gigi's out here. All sitting by the cozy fire. It's pretty cold out today compared to yesterday. It's much colder than it was. So there's Turner's jacket up there and his boots somewhere. Are they on your feet? Yes. And then Turner's little brother Ozzy was out here and he painted this. And then he decided he was hungry. So he ate all our snacks. And then he went in the house to find more food. <laughs> he ate all the cheese and everything. Look at Turner's awesome creation. Tell me that's not the coolest. I love the colors. love the dripping. He just poured, well I helped him do that part, right? We poured the black and he held it up so it would drip. Very cool, Turner. I love it. Thank you. And he's gonna sign it when it dries. Good job, bud. Thank you. How old are you, Turner? I am seven. You're seven years old? Do you like painting? Yes. And he loves to paint. That is really cool. I love it. Good job, bud. So we are just about to treat ourselves. Shanna came over to watch. What are we doing, Grammys in our jammies. That's right. And she made the cutest drinks. Look at these. With, what is it? Meyer, Meyer lemons. lemons. And Sprite and Ice. Yep. And it's like a slushy. How fun is this? And look with the umbrellas. And she brought supper. Hooray! Chickens and salad. So we're just going to go watch the Grammys. So I'm going to bid you all farewell for this weekend. And I hope you're watching the Grammys with someone you love, like Shannon. I'm a too. Are you watching the Grammys, YouTube? I don't know. I might. Okay. <laughs> so goodbye. Goodbye.